All right, so I thought I'll talk to you about uh, this recent movie that I uh, just happened to see. There was something very interesting that I uh, saw in that movie that I want to uh, talk to you about. So the movie was Kumari, uh, a Malayalam movie, horror movie. It's got supernatural elements. It's got strong anti-caste elements. Uh, there's a god uh, worshipped by uh, this underprivileged uh, tribal community and this uh, upper caste uh, Brahmin community. And it's a story of the battle between those two gods. I'm not gonna reveal much about the story of the movie, but I'm gonna say there is a scene in the movie where there's a lot of this character where uh, the character has a lot of anxiety, mental health issues. And uh, there is this metallic totlip, totem that the character just holds uh, holds on tight to his body. And uh, that helps uh, the person relieve uh, whatever anxiety he's having. It has sort of become like this ritual to him where he believes that doing that makes sure that he doesn't suffer from things like nightmares and stuff. And I realized that... Uh, Almost all superstitions are kind of like this. All superstitions kind of make us feel secure about, you know, dangers that we might face in the future, right? Uh, astrology is kind of like this. We seek out help from astrologers, even going to temples and praying to gods. It's kind of like coping with anxiety and uh, like warding off dangers that you might face in the future, right? So superstitions are kind of like coping mechanisms in a society that uh, greatly looks down upon mental health or greatly stigmatizes mental health. There has to be some coping mechanisms because people still suffer from things like anxiety and other mental health issues. So uh, there has to be some mechanism, some way by which people can cope with those things and superstitions kind of take that place. So in today's society where we understand uh, mental health to a much greater extent than we did back in the time period when that movie was set or back in the time period when these superstitions were, became a part of tradition and of society. I think we have to understand that those superstitions don't really need a place in today's society because we have better ways to deal with anxiety today, don't we? We don't need coping mechanisms in the form of these superstitions. Tell me what you think about this, that superstitions are just coping mechanisms for anxiety. I'm not saying this is always the case, but this is almost always the case. What do you think about all this? See you in the next one.